Uh, my name is Laura Teach. I'm 27 years old. I am the founder of She Hacks Kenya, a community of women uh, in cybersecurity in Kenya. And I work in cybersecurity. Yeah. I am a woman in technology, specifically in cybersecurity. I am a trainer and I'm also a defender in terms of um, protecting at risk people, especially journalists and civil society, from digital threats and attacks. Uh, but I also train in cybersecurity. So I train uh, cybersecurity enthusiasts and students, uh, which is my nine to five, and also the work we do at She Has. So She Has is a community of women in cybersecurity in Kenya, and we started it in August of 2016. I was in college, and the goal was to bridge the gender gap in the cybersecurity industry in Kenya, but at the same time, um, providing a platform where women and even students, men or women, can learn cybersecurity so that we, uh, we build a, a generation of skilled cybersecurity workers. And um, so far in 2021, we have over 400 members, uh, a sister chapter in Zimbabwe, and uh, we, are, we have presence in, I'm going to say, 29 or 30 colleges in Kenya. Yes, so we have she hacks clubs in 30, actually 30 colleges in Kenya. Okay. For me, it was all about passion. I've always been passionate about cybersecurity. I've always uh, been a fan of movies or TV series that have something to do with tech, especially the hacking bit of things. So I was always, always fascinated, but I didn't know where to start. And that's when, when I was in college, um, Bryce Gamedi and his initiative Africa Hacker came to school. And that's where I got my foundation. That was in February 2016. And in August, that's when we created She Hacks. Yeah. Oh, okay. That is, first of all, just um, getting more women in the field has been my biggest achievement. And also, personally, I think, um, first of all, getting women in the field and also in the job market has been my biggest achievement. Uh, but personally, um, I was uh, a cybersecurity woman of the year 2021 and the, the barrier breaker category for my work at SheHacks and it's a global competition. So that, I think, uh, this year has been my biggest achievement, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, cloud technology, it's a form of technology where um, Things that, in in layman terms, uh, things are kept in uh, in the digital form. Uh, you know how uh, initially, and even now, we have uh, physical servers, but then with cloud, uh, things are virtual. So you store your, let's say, whether it's hosting your site, you store it, store it in a digital platform. And is it safe? It is. I think it's more safe. Uh, first of all, it's safe from um, physical threats. So someone won't walk into your office and uh, destroy your servers because it's stored in a virtual platform. Um, but it's also safe in, in the sense that uh, from, let's say, threats such as distributed denial of service attacks where they overwhelm your server with a lot of requests. Uh, with cloud, you can get the... Um, one that is easy to pass the tab, like uh, it can, it's dynamic, uh, dynamic allocation size, so it can grow, it, it grows to fit the requests. Um, and so it's, it's very, uh, uh, I would advise businesses to move towards cloud platforms. Mm -hmm. um, at the same time, there is a threat. In 2020, during the COVID uh, period, we saw a lot of people, as I said, small and medium enterprises moving towards cloud, and um, there was uh, this issue of misconfiguration, which is in itself a threat. So as much as people are moving towards cloud, you need to have someone in the organization that understands the dynamics 
and can easily set it up for you in a secure manner um, so that you, know, you don't uh, face the risk of uh, data theft from misconfiguration and stuff, stuff like that. Yeah. Sometimes we approach the people, sometimes they do approach us, but all our trainings are free. So if, let's say, a certain university, they approach us and they want a, you know, a training, we, we have about 20 trainers. Um, yeah, so we, we plan with the, the university or the community, whatever you know, organization wants the training, we plan with them and then we go offer them. Sometimes, like for the child online protection, because a lot of parents came to us, we decided to start the program with other in partnership with other organizations. So we just post them on our social media platforms and we get people uh, interested people to sign up. Mm. Yes. There is not much user awareness. Because a lot of the threats that we face are human-based. Mm -hmm. We call it layer eight errors. So you find someone from committee sending you a, a, a message to send them money that you know um, something about their child needs a calculator or something. That is, you know, a threat that uh, face a, a lot of people face and because they're not aware. So for us, I think one of the biggest threats is the human element, yeah, the lack of user awareness. Mm -hmm. yeah.